Can role-playing games improve your sex life? What is the truth about orgasm through clitoral stimulation? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, role-playing games can improve the sex life of some couples. They help foster communication, creativity, and exploration of fantasies. However, it is important that both parties are comfortable and consent to participate. Clitoral stimulation is a common way for many women to achieve orgasm. It is a highly erogenous part of the female body and can be essential for experiencing sexual pleasure and orgasm. Penis size. Concerns about penis size are common among men, but most women consider size not to be a crucial factor in sexual satisfaction. Communication and emotional connection are often more important. Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Polysexual relationships. Some individuals identify as polysexual, meaning they can feel sexual attraction to individuals of various genders, regardless of whether they identify as men, women, or any other gender identity. Post-experience. After anal sex, some people may experience temporary sensitivity or discomfort. Resting and caring for the area can help alleviate any discomfort. Post-orgasm sensitivity. After an orgasm, some women may experience increased sensitivity in erogenous zones, making them more responsive to additional stimulation. Preparation and communication. Adequate preparation and open communication with the partner are crucial. Trust and consent are even more critical in anal sex. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms, and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Pseudosiasis, also known as psychological pregnancy, is a condition in which a person experiences pregnancy symptoms, such as abdominal weight gain and absence of menstruation, despite not being pregnant. This phenomenon is uncommon, but illustrates the mind's influence on the body. Refractory period. In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. Relation to pleasure. For some people, anal sex can provide additional pleasure due to the stimulation of nerve endings in the anal area. Relaxing effects. Orgasms release endorphins, acting as natural painkillers, which can help reduce pain, alleviate stress, and improve mood. This explains why many people feel relaxed and happy after an orgasm. Role of relaxation. Mental and physical relaxation is key to a comfortable experience. Anxiety and stress can negatively impact readiness for anal sex. Safe exploration. Exploration of anal sex should be safe and consensual, it is always advisable to start gently and listen to the body's signals. Sex and aging. As people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Sex and creativity. Sex and creativity are related in various ways. Many artists and writers have found inspiration in their sex lives. The connection between artistic expression and intimacy can be a source of innovation and personal expression. Sex and pregnancy. Having sexual relations during pregnancy is generally safe, unless otherwise indicated by a doctor. In fact, many couples find that their sex life improves during this period. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Sex in space, NASA has investigated how life in space would affect human sexuality. One challenge is gravity, as in a microgravity environment, blood flow and sexual response may change. Research in this field may be crucial for future extended space missions. Sex in the elderly, sexuality in old age is an important part of life for many older individuals. Older couples can continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sexual desire during pregnancy can vary from woman to woman. Some women experience an increase in desire due to hormonal changes, 
while others may feel less interested in sex. Sexual education. Today, sexual education has evolved to address topics such as sexual diversity, STI prevention, and the importance of consent. However, the quality of sexual education varies widely worldwide. Sexual role-playing involves taking on characters or erotic scenarios during sexual activity. It can be a fun way to explore fantasies and desires. Sexuality and the elderly. Sexuality has no expiration date. Many older people continue to have sexual relationships and enjoy intimacy in their golden years. Shared passions and interests. Sharing common interests and hobbies can strengthen a connection. Finding common ground and enjoying activities together can be attractive. Skin as a sexual organ. The skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Smell and attraction. The sense of smell can influence sexual attraction. A person's natural scent, their pheromones, may play a role in sexual chemistry and attraction. Speed of sperm during ejaculation. Approximately 100 million sperm are expelled, capable of traveling at an astonishing speed of up to 18 kilometers per hour, thanks to muscular contractions. This speed is essential for competing in their race towards the egg. Submission and domination games, known as BDSM, can be a consensual and safe way to explore intense fantasies and emotions in intimacy. Communication and respect are crucial in these practices. The association. Between financial stress and sex, financial stress can have a negative impact on couples' sex lives. Concerns about finances can decrease sexual desire and satisfaction. The effect of spicy foods. Spicy foods can increase heart rate and sweating which could mimic some of the physical responses to sex, leading to the idea that they can be aphrodisiacs. The influence of music on arousal. Music can be a powerful aphrodisiac. Various musical styles and songs can influence mood and sexual arousal. The internal clitoris. The clitoris is not just the small visible button at the top of the vulva. It has an internal structure that extends into depth. Stimulation of the internal clitoris can be an additional source of pleasure for some women. The relationship between sex and stress. Although stress can decrease sexual desire in some people, sex can be a powerful stress reducer. The release of endorphins during sex can help alleviate stress and anxiety. Toys designed for anal sex. There are sex toys specifically designed for anal sex with shapes and features that maximize pleasure and minimize the risk of injuries. Use of condoms. Using condoms during anal sex not only helps prevent STIs, but also facilitates cleaning after the activity. Variability in experiences. Each person experiences anal sex differently. What works for one person may not be equally enjoyable for another, and it's important to respect those differences. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.